But the idea that ARR is not a good game only has to exist if you're the one putting it in the minds of the fucking people playing it. I'm telling you right now, A Realm Reborn is a better than you think it is. I fucking, I'm, t I, I would not have gone to Heaven's Ward and to Stormblood and beyond if I fucking hated A Realm Reborn, okay? That's just the truth. It's just the truth. The wonder and excitement of coming into a new world literally just surpasses every everything else. It, 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 it like it doesn't matter. And all the changes that they've made since then, fuck me, dude. Whether it's reworking old dungeons, trials, solo instances, fucking Cape Westwind, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Like it's fucking crazy. But I like I was saying to you guys yesterday or the day before, whenever the fuck that was, I can't remember today. Like I was saying, I enjoyed it. I liked it. And so when people were like, just wait, Pyro, just, it's, it's going to get, it's going to get better. It's good. It's, it's, it's it. like, I'm like, okay, but shut the, also shut the fuck up. Cause like, I enjoy this, you know, but there were some parts of a realm reborn. Okay. That have been changed since I played through, for instance, the fucking wine quest line, dude. <sighs> I wish the mind flayers would put a fucking tadpole in my brain over that shit, dude. That was fucking awful. So I'm glad that they took that out. And then also the Titan arc, which I think is right around the same area, like Costa del Sol area. I, I want to eat glass, dude. Like besides those two things, A Realm Reborn is actually pretty fucking sick, in my opinion. A Realm Reborn stops being bad when people stop trying to convince you it's something to be endured and not enjoyed. Thank you. Yes, it's actually good. This is such a frustrating talking point that it, it just isn't true. I totally agree, Sewer Goblin. And honestly, look. I feel the same way about, about Stormblood. People talk about Stormblood as if it's, oh, it's like another, Stormblood is like ARR 2.0. It's that second part of the game that you're gonna have to kind of like suffer through because it's just not very good. I don't agree, dude. Stormblood's, I think Stormblood's really good. I think it establishes some of the most interesting long-term characters that we get, even if some people fucking think Xenos is cringe. And even initially for me, he was made me very uncomfortable and I was like, eh, I don't know if I like this character. Like, come on. He's the arch nemesis. He's the fucking... He shows up at the very end. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're setting up concepts in Stormblood that people still reference today. How how many people did you guys see say the 12 are probably like auspices? Don't you think it's so funny that like the auspices are something that gets brought up consistently? You know why? Because they were awesome, original, interesting lore and it came out of Stormblood. Like it's one of the most one of the most like easily remembered segments of the game for so many fucking people because it was awesome. Like I don't know. I think Stormblood has some of the best raids, okay? Just saying, okay? Some dope trials. Omega's pretty sick. I still think Eden's better, okay? And Pandemonium's all right, all right, okay? But Omega's pretty sick, okay? You got Ultimates introduced in Stormblood. That's cool, right? That's when those first came out. Some dope music, as you get with every expansion, though, to be fair. Ivalice, if you're into that, okay? I'll replay that eventually, because I feel like I owe it to some of you. Yeah, once you get to the end of the Ruby Sea, I, I do feel like you're off to the races. But honestly, like up to that point, I didn't think it was that bad. They blend in that comedy, that humor with Alpha No trying to swim, Elise with the Namazu, like all that. I don't know. There's just, there's fun, playful shit that like, I, th I think Stormblood was like a good balance between like the whimsical and the serious. Because let's be honest, man, when you got in those scenes with Gatsuyu and she's like trying to get a motherfucker to shoot this other guy, like it gets heavy, <laughs> you know? Like when you're in those scenes with Fordola and you're seeing some of that trauma and, and abuse that she went through as a child. You're like, holy fuck, dude. Like, this is, like, Stormblood brings some of the most impactful uh, individual storylines in the entire game. You will not convince me otherwise. Uh, it's got some of the best individual storytelling for, for, for characters. Gosetsu, yes, dude. Gosetsu, someone say Hien. Uh, Yatsuyu, Fordola. Uh, uh, dude, Eureka. You fucking Eureka. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Kryle and Galif? And, and, and the Baldessian arsenal, like, oh, holy shit, <laughs> the Asm step, like, there's, there's a lot of good stuff, yeah, uh, uh, Sadu, fucking, dude, Little Sun, there's so many great scenes that come out of that, so, uh, yeah, there's, like, Stormblood, I think is, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna say it, chat, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, I think Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood is one of the most underrated games out there okay i'm that's my that's just my opinion but i think that it's very underrated ken i think that you just hit the nail on the fucking head and i want to say something okay this is a controversial opinion i know but it's okay to be insecure about something 
admitting insecurity is literally how you start becoming more secure and comfortable about something. You have to acknowledge. And I really agree with you. I do think that a lot of the reason that the, the shitting on A Realm Reborn happens is because people are worried that if they don't convince people to play long enough, that they're going to burn out because their game's not cool enough. And that's okay. That's okay. Imagine being a World of Warcraft player. I'm sorry, but you coming over and playing the classic experience isn't exactly what I would consider to be the exciting part of the story. You know what I'm saying? That's totally natural. It's totally normal. Now, I think that... It does get to the point, and I felt this, trust me, as someone who had hundreds or sometimes thousands of people watching through my journey, I heard it a lot, a lot. And it, I'm going to be honest, man, all it ever did was just bring me down. All it ever did was bring me down. It made me feel like I wasn't supposed to be enjoying the thing that I was enjoying. And me not really understanding, like, why do you guys talk so much shit about it? Like, it's pretty good. Like... And it, and it, and it, it just, it, I, it bothered me because I felt like if people would just be a little bit more positive, like, uh, like practice going in and saying like, what do you think so far? Instead of just sharing your experience, right? Because someone coming from World of Warcraft, for instance, their experience might be way different. They might have this deep appreciation for the, the in-depth storytelling and, and the, the, the pacing of the story because wow, just doesn't fucking do that like so there's so so much to appreciate the first time through that i think that we as consistent players and seasoned players some of us more than others for sure like some of you have been playing way longer than me um you know like let's encourage people you know like let them know that like hey it, like if you think this is all right like like pay attention because this sets the this sets everything up like they put a lot of work into, like, redoing some of these old dungeons and stuff. Like, you know, this is sick. Like, it's sick. You know, it's sick. You know, just, I just don't see any reason. I get it. I get where it comes from. But I do think you're right, Ken. I think it comes, I think it comes from a place of insecurity, and I think that's okay. Like, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay to be insecure. I think that, I personally think that when we're insecure about something, I think that it also illustrates that we care about it. Because if we didn't care about it, we wouldn't give enough of a fuck to be insecure about it. So... I think that it can be an endearing thing, right? I don't think it's inherently a bad thing, but I think that we can do better to just be a little bit more positive about it because it's pretty good, dude. It really it really is. It really is. Better than better than you think. But like someone said earlier, they they can never look at a realm reborn the same because if you play through Stormblood, if you play through Heaven's Word, if you play through Shadowbringers, God forbid, and Walker, you know how crazy and good it can get. But let's be honest, we have to admit. I think at least to some level, the game never would have had that 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 fucking visceral payoff if we didn't have the world building that exists in A Realm Reborn. It just can't, like, in a sense, like, they are mutually exclusive in that regard. Like, you literally have to have one to have the other. And, and that's fine. That's fine. As long as you can appreciate the foundation, I think that that helps you appreciate, yeah, everything you build on top of it, Guffin. The house that you build on top of it, right? And, and ARR is the foundation. I'm going to tell you this right now. It's a better foundation than... This is a made-up statistic from my own brain, but 75% of games. Like, it's... 